in the previous video we got some definitions uh, for the basics of probability theory and I'll remind you that an event is a subset of the sample space for any given experiment. So uh, as an example, let's write the uh, event as a subset for each of the following sample spaces. Part A, when we flip a coin, a head shows. And well, this is particularly easy because there's only one outcome in this event, namely a head. Okay, part B, we have two girls and one boy are born to a family. Remember that, uh, that sample space that we looked at where you could have um, two girls and a boy in three different ways. Okay, so those are the outcomes that we need to write down girl, girl, boy, that's supposed to indicate that the boy is the youngest and then girl, boy, girl and boy, girl, girl, that indicates that the boy is the oldest. Okay, in part C, a total of five occurs when we roll two dice. Okay, so Remember, when we roll dice, there's uh, two different dice there, each of which can have any of six outcomes. So we need to write down the value for each die when we uh, give outcomes in this sample space. Okay, so if the total is five, then we could have one, four, we have two, three. We could have three, two. Or we could have four, one. Remember that these outcomes here, two, three, and three, two, for example, are not the same because this is the two on the red die, let's say, and this is three on the green die, whereas this would be three on the red die and two on the green die. Not the same. So we have four outcomes in this event. Okay, now we're ready to define what is meant by probability. The probability of an outcome is a number in the interval 0 to 1 satisfying the condition that the sum of the probabilities of all outcomes in the sample space is 1. And if we need the probability of an event, then we get that probability just by adding up the probabilities of the different outcomes in the event. Okay, so probability of E, let's say, E standing for event, P, E, is the sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes in the event. Now I need to warn you about something. This P here. We used P in the uh, previous chapter in uh, chapter 13 to indicate the uh, uh, the permutation number. Uh, this P is different because we're using it to represent probability. Okay, so now we have to uh, deal with actually finding a numerical value for an outcome, for the probability of an outcome. And there are two different ways that this can be determined. Uh, if we have a good theoretical understanding of the experiment, then we can assign probabilities according to the theory. 
So for example, uh, suppose our experiment consists of flipping a coin, then uh, it is reasonable to assume that each outcome uh, in the sample space, namely head or tail, is equally likely. And therefore, this tells us the probability of each of these outcomes is 50% or one half. Now, if we do not have a theoretical basis for assigning a probability, then we have to rely on experimental evidence. Okay, so for example, we have a pharmaceutical company which is testing a new vaccine for possible side effects. 100 patients are tested and the results are as follows. 72 had no side effects, 25 had mild side effects, and 3 had severe side effects. We have no theoretical basis in this experiment for predicting severe side effects, but we can estimate from the evidence that the chances of severe side effects of this vaccine are about 3%. Now, of course, there will be a margin of error in uh, any study of this kind. 